Hi guys, welcome to Daddy Dye's Crafty Corner. Today I'm doing a video that is very close to my heart. It's one of a few videos I'll be putting up today. But I am, I'm going to have to be looking down because I don't want to make a mistake on this video. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my iPad at the table. But today I am doing a video that is promoting an event that starts today. It's over on Facebook and it's called hashtag, hashtag comment kindness. This is a project that was started by May May Made It. And if you guys know, I'm sure you know, I'm crazy about May May Made It, aren't we all? I'm just saying. For so many reasons. She is completely positive and um, uplifting here on the community and you guys know that's something that I aspire to be and also um, enjoy seeing here on this platform of ours, our little crafty um, buddies here. And um, so when I saw this event or when I saw this campaign had started, I rushed over to the Facebook page and joined. And the idea is to bring I'm gonna to try to get this as close as possible so may may if I screw this up a little bit I'm sorry um, the idea is to to bring awareness to the fact that you know we need to be commenting nicely on our other on all of our social media groups to all of our um, all of the videos or pictures you know if you're on Twitter or whatever your whatever your main place is that you post your projects or pictures or whatever you need to also be being kind to people that are posting you know you can always find something nice to say I think that we've all um, been a victim to nasty comments or rude comments or mean hurtful things being said on one of our posts or numbers of our posts and um, you know it, it and and I have to say that I'm guilty in an aspect not of saying anything nasty I would never ever be hurtful to anyone um, if I ever have been hurtful I certainly didn't mean it in that way but um, where I'm guilty is I don't always take the time to put a comment I watch all of your videos, all of them. I take the time in my day or weeks to make sure that I catch all of your videos. But I don't comment enough on the videos. I do try to pick one or two and make a comment and on social media or on Instagram, which is my favorite of the social media sites, Instagram, I try very hard to comment there as well. And I also try to point out people in different videos, you know, in my videos that um, I really enjoy or that I think are super, super sweet. So, I mean, I try to do that, but I don't do it enough. So I'm guilty in that aspect. So I'm going to make a conscience effort to start commenting more. Um, on different videos as well. And then the other part of this campaign was to pick five of your comments and um, that meant something to you, that uplifted you, that, you know, helped you to keep going in, um, you know, in this craft that we're doing or keep, you know, keep making YouTube videos or keep posting your projects, right? And May May's video, if it's not already up, it will be up after lunchtime. I don't know what time. I do this every time. I don't know what time it is. The clock's right there. You guys can see that. I'm not sure. Um, and um, I've picked a few. I didn't want to go. I didn't want, a lot of mine are, well, I'm just, I wanted to give names more than anybody. I'm very lucky in the aspect that I get a ton of wonderful commenters. Um, so many of you comment regularly on my videos. Um, and I've, it's, I've had quite a few negative comments, 
Um, but most of my, and, and, and May May addresses this also in her video, um, she talks about emails. Most of my, na the nastiest stuff that I've ever had sent to me has been done email, except for a Facebook post where they called my grandson a bad name, which, um, you know, that still hurts. That, that still hurts me to today. It really does. It makes me very cautious and leery about talking about, you know, my biracial grandchildren who mean the world to me, you know? Um, but I've had other things said as well, you know? So, I, and, I, and, I, and it's not just me. I know that we all have little digs here or there. But I wanted to read a couple because sometimes um, they are very uplifting. They just give you the motivation to keep going just a little bit longer you know, to maybe make that video this week when you just weren't feeling it. Those types of videos, right? And then I also wanted to show you an example of a comment that I received where it was the, there was some criticism, uh, you know, not a criticism, there was a suggestion made. And um, there's a big difference between criticizing someone's work and giving them suggestions. So I'm gonna read that comment for you guys. So. Here's my take on the hashtag comment kindness campaign that's going on today. All right. And I want to thank May May and her, her group of friends that started this because I think it's a wonderful thing to do. Um, and I'm sure that it'll be going onward. This isn't, this isn't the only day for this. And I apologize if you guys are seeing cars go that way. I, it's kind of, dark in here today so I have the blinds open all right so let me show you or let me tell you I want to read just a couple of things to you and then but I have to find it first then I'm just going to mention some names I wanted to start with the lady. Okay. All right. So this one actually just came in a few days ago. All right. And her name is Vera Matson, M A T S O N, Vera Matson. And she says, Thanks for sharing and showing the color comparisons. I think they would blend better. Now, this was on the um, Spectrum Nor Illustrator, the new version, the review that I did. Okay. Where I compared the old markers to the new markers and the markers to themselves to see how well they blended and she said thanks for sharing and showing the color comparisons I think they would blend better if the first color were still wet by the time we went back to the first color by the time you went back to the first color to blend it had already already dried so they didn't blend as well as I think they could and you know what she is probably 100% right you know and I love seeing comments like that I love seeing comments like that comments where people are saying first you know saying something very nice and then saying but what if and I get those all the time you know I had a lovely lady um, last week ask me you know say oh I absolutely love that video but don't you think you should dry your brushes first before you put the lid on again I loved that video you know I love I love that comment you know so that's a that's an example of the comments that would be um, nice criticism if you want to call this criticism I just call this helpful tips you know and I love the fact that she said that you know and she's I can't remember exactly I didn't watch the video back but she's probably right I probably did swatch it out and then go back to it you know and whereas that is maybe an issue for this marker it's not really an issue so much for Copics you know so I might have missed that you know um, and so I would love to go back and revisit that video and check on it and try it again and I appreciate her so much for bringing it to my attention you know so that's one example of leaving a comment right so then to go back to some of the more um, Hold on, I'm trying to go through this. There was a couple that I wanted to bring up. 
All right, here's another one of just that this wasn't uplifting to me, but I love these comments as well. These comments um, are when you suggest something to me. I love, 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 love them, right? So this is the Nile, maybe? The Nile, N-I-L-J-E. Yeah, N-I-L-G-E, the Nile. And she put, this was on the MFT haul and release my picks video. And she put Haya. <laughs> Haya. I totally agree when it comes to that little MFT girl. Now I have to tell you, I had some people that did not like my comment about that little MFT girl. Mm -hmm. um, I think you might much prefer this stamp set from Sugar Pea Designs. And she gave me the link to go look at it. Well, I did. I did. It was a fantastic stamp and I ordered it. And I could not have been more happy about that comment. It, you know, because I was, I, I used the little MFT stamp image. I'm just not crazy about the little girl. The way she looks, you know, her, I'm not crazy about the little girl, that's all. This little girl was in bed surrounded by toys and coloring books and sniffle, you know, tissues and stuff. It was a super sweet, super, super sweet. So I loved it. I love getting those kind of comments as well as the, hey, you're terrific comments. Who doesn't love to be told they're terrific, by the way? Just saying. Mm -hmm. Which is why I try so hard to tell you guys that you're terrific, but I don't do it enough and I need to. And that's what this reminded me of. It reminded me of the things that I don't do myself that I should be doing more often, right? Okay, so some of the comments that I have had that have meant the most to me. First of all, I have quite a few viewers who comment all the time and they're always, always absolutely lovely things they say. And I'm just gonna tell you some of their names and we're just, I'm gonna start there and then I'll just read a couple. Um, first of all, let me start by saying, um, hold on, my note system is horrible. I'm gonna just give you some names. So the first one is, of course, Crafty Bean. You knew she was going to be here, guys. I love that woman to pieces. I would have to say if there was ever anyone that I've met here in this community that I think I could relate to on a day-to-day -day basis or, or someone who's kindred soul, soul maybe or something, I feel that we are so... So, I don't know, close isn't the word. Um, I feel that I just, I relate to her on so many levels. You know what I'm saying? And um, she's always leaving me the best comments on all my videos. She, she, she takes the time and really leaves comments that are positive, uplifting, and just fantastic all the time. So. Um, that's one of them, Crafty Bean. Love her, Tina. Love her. She knows that too. I hope she knows that. I'm so sucky at telling people how I feel. Um, another person who is always leaving me such fantastic comments on all my social medias. This, this woman reaches out to me on every platform I have. Every single platform. And that is Elaine from um, Max and Soji. Mm-hmm. I think it's Soji. I know that's her dog, but it's Max and Soji. All right. And um, she's fantastic. Not just on mine, but everyone. She's the same way on all the people that she follows. She's super, super sweet. And she get, leaves the best comments. Reading her comments is like getting a great big hug. I'm telling you it is. And I just love it. So she's always leaving uplifting um comments on all of my videos and I just so appreciate it you know it, it really gives me the people that I'm mentioning are always leaving comments that give me that motivation to keep going you know so that's I'm that's why I'm bringing them up today I may do more than five but well that's what I'm doing um let's see who else do I have on here of course Debbie Vino Vignola Debbie Vignola, another person. She is so talented. Um, she's so talented in the shabby chic world and I just love her to pieces as well. And um, 
she's always leaving the kindest comments on all of my videos always and she's another one she doesn't miss it she doesn't miss a single time and I just it really up makes me feel like getting up the next morning and trying it all over again you know and who else did I have on this list And then I'm just going to read a couple to you that um, have touched me. There's been so many that have touched me, I'm just going to say. But I've had a few that have... Um, I'm trying to... I thought there was another person. We talked about Vera. All right, let me read a couple to you now. Okay, let's see... All right, so this I already mentioned Crafty Bean Tina. Tina, if you if you're following her, you know that she has started an exercise routine and she's going to the gym and she's working really, really hard. And then you guys know that I have um, been diagnosed with diabetes and I've got it back down to pre-diabetes. And I'm also going to the gym, working out and trying very, very hard to get this weight off so that I don't have to take diabetic medications anymore. And she's very up, uplifting with all of her comments when she's, when she's telling me that she's gone to the gym, what she's done that day. And um, of course I follow her on Facebook, so I know there what she's doing as well. But that really encourages me, not so much in the crafty aspect, but it, that encourages me to get up at five o'clock in the morning, 4.30 in the morning and get my butt to the gym. So I love that. I love that she's constantly posting and you know, saying little things and then leaving me little messages on YouTube about how she went to the gym. And that was what this message was. She was talking about some markers that I had talked about. And she said that she went to the gym at eight o'clock in the morning and she's watching her diet. And I was just like, you go girl, I'm so proud of you, you know? And it, at the same time, it reminds me that mm, I need to do that too, you know? So. It's encouraging, you know? That's what I'm trying to say, is it's very encouraging. So you guys, you we know, based on the videos, we know what we're doing. You know, we know what, we've, what we're trying to accomplish in our life right now. And we should be very occur encouraging to each other to keep those goals and to keep, um, keep up with each other in that aspect. Because, you know, we don't know. We don't know that that person may not have another person to reach out to to talk about these things. They may not have someone they call on the phone every day or, you know, someone that they're able to say, hey, I went to the gym today. Woohoo, I did it, you know. It's nice to be encouraging and talk to those people even in messages underneath their videos or underneath their Instagrams or whatever it is they're posting to give them encouragement and, um, in return, of course, you know, you want to receive encouragement as well. So, so that's what, that's why I, I brought her up again, because she's constantly leaving me little notes like that. And I've started reaching out to her on instant messaging as well. Um, I just, like I said, I just feel, I feel a connection. Um, another one that, um, okay, so this person is Casey Kane. Is it Kane or Can? Kane. And she's left me quite a few ins inspirational messages, things that would that helped me so much to go on. Um, this particular one, I was getting um, a lot of flack about a video that I did. And I think I had mentioned it to you guys. And I never mentioned those videos to say, oh, pity me. Never. I'm just telling you like it is. Just telling you what's going on in my life. Just like I do any other day of the week. You know? That's all. So um, she said, let me start by saying that you are an amazing lady. I love your off the shoulder, off the shoulder shirts. I get a lot of flack about that, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you some sassiness, she says. I love that, by the way. Um, and she goes on to say that she would love for me to do some vlogs about diabetes and diabetic friendly menus and to even cook it. She struggles with her weight and she has three toddlers. She can never find the motivation to work out. At the end of the day, she's roasted. Girl, I feel you. I feel you. 
as you guys know, I'm in my 50s and whoa, grandbabies that are this active are about killing this grandma. At the end of the day, and my days are long with them, they don't go home until eight o'clock at night. And you know, if I didn't get up first thing in the morning and do it, I wouldn't do it at all because uh, I'm a hurting puppy at the end of the day. So she says that um, she can never find the motivation to work out at the end of the day. She's just roasted and um, she's starting to eat healthy wherever she can and she would love to see me make more stuff and give her some ideas. That encouraged me so very much, so very much. So, you know, those are the, those are the kind of things that just make us get up and wanna do it one more day. You know, sometimes it's hard to find the motivation, right? To get up and do it one more day. So these are all the reasons why. Um, here is another one that just meant the world to me. And it's, it was unexpected and it just, it made me smile all day long. Often on my videos, I refer to someone else's channel or someone else's Instagram or something. Um, and I don't do that for any other reason except for I really enjoy their videos or I really enjoy what they're showing. Um, and this was one of those ladies. So Corin Whiskman, who is a big deal right now in the car making world. I'm just telling you guys. Mm -hmm. um, I saw a few of her videos and fell in love. And I mentioned it to you guys and said, go over and check her out. You're going to love her. You're going to absolutely love her. Um, and she left me a comment saying that she was overjoyed and had the biggest smile on her face. Now, I certainly didn't tell you guys to go over and see her so she would come check me out. You know what I'm saying? But the fact that she took the time to not only leave me a message and then tell me about her kids, her children, and um, her life a little bit just made my day because I admire her work so very much. And... Um, it just it just made it just made my entire week really that one message just made my entire week because I really truly admire the work that she's done she does she's so good and she does beautiful pictures when she photographs her stuff and when she films her stuff I aspire to be that much like her I'm telling you girl she's fantastic but that's another story so that was another one of the comments that just it really um, well, I'll just read it to you. She says, I am overjoyed right now. I have the biggest smile on my face. I've been making cards for maybe 13 years, but I've only been active online for a few years now. I actually have four kids at home, three of my own and one stepdaughter. I don't share video, I don't share photos of my stepdaughter online, but she's adorable also. And then she goes on to give her kids names and how old they are. She's got a 15, a 13, and a three-year-old and a nine-year-old. She's so thankful for my kind words and she's so glad I found her. This community has been a wonderful addition to her life and she's glad to, to get to share her hobby with such wonderful, supported, supportive people. Thank you, Di Di. Thank you very much. So that's exactly what I've been saying about this community. We're so supportive and we're so helpful to each other and we care about each other so much. So maybe if we just take a little more time and just comment kindness in all of the videos on as many videos as you can you know just try to be super sweet and super kind and just say the positive things about the videos and not the negative things on the videos right I, it's okay it's like I said that's why I brought those two up on the table because it's I wouldn't even say those were criticizing at all but they were helpful you know, they said something, they didn't like the way I did something maybe, but they worded it in a way, you know, like, you know, she d maybe didn't like the way I didn't go back and color them when they were wet. She didn't say, hey, I don't think you did that right. You know, she did, she wasn't nasty about it. She was super sweet about it. And she said, but what if, you know, what if you did it this way? I love those kind of comments. So that's what this video is about today, is just to let you be aware of the campaign that's going on. Please go on over to May May Made It's Facebook page if you're on Facebook and um, become a part of this campaign. I'm sure it's gonna be ongoing. It's not just a one day event, but to make it a point to be kind and leave nice comments on people's videos and projects that they're sharing with you 
because they are taking the time out of their life to do this. You know, they're they're just doing it to share their passion and their love for what they're doing. And without everyone doing that, we wouldn't have the ideas or have the library of library of things that we can go and um, search through to find. You know, it's it's a massive amount of stuff here on YouTube about our crafting industry about our crafting styles, about watercoloring and die cutting, and there's so many videos. And without people making those videos, we wouldn't have that. You know, it wouldn't be a part of our everyday life to go be able to see that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I really hope that you take into consideration and become part of the movement. Like I said, it's hashtag um, comment kindness. And there is a Facebook page from May May Made It. It's hashtag comic kindness. And if you would like to play along, go ahead and um, make a video and tell everyone five comments that have meant the world to you. I didn't really do five comments, but I just wanted to share some people that are super, super, go out of their way all the time to be really, really super supportive of my channel. There are so many more of you as well. Um, so many more so I apologize if I didn't say your name but you know there are just some people that are religious about it I mean seriously every single video I do they're right there and quick usually even you know and that just it gives me the encouragement to keep going so I'm going to make an effort to going forward to make sure that I comment on your videos and um, to give you kudos and tell you you're doing a great job because you all are. I watch your videos, you're wonderful. So just know that if I haven't commented in the past that I am going to make an effort to do so in the future. And that I love you guys so much and I appreciate you so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.